Empowerment is the totality of the following capabilities. Having decision-making power of their own. Having access to information and resources for taking proper decision. Having a range of options from which you can make choices. Ability to exercise assertiveness in collective decision-making. Having positive thinking on the ability to make change. Ability to learn skills for improving one's personal or group power. Ability to change others' perceptions by democratic means. Involving in the growth process and changes that is never-ending and self-initiated. Increasing one's positive self-image and overcoming stigma. An empowered person is somebody who has power. And what that means is the question. I define power as self-determination, the ability to make choices that are truly free. Of course, this is not truly possible in a culture that constructs meaning and values as young children that become ingrained in our social DNA. But some of us are closer to being self-determining than others. I think for women, it's hard to be empowered today because we're born into a culture that teaches women to view our bodies as projects. We make our bodies our primary value, and we're taught to do that very young, well before we're conscious of being thinking, acting beings. We're given this system that if women achieve what we're told to, the height of beauty, the height of attractiveness, then it is not an empowered position. It's actually a subordinate position where our identity exists in our sexuality and our being exists to please others. I think this is the biggest barrier to women's empowerment. The fact that we're taught to make our bodies our primary value so that even if we become the most valuable in that scheme we've been given, we're not in a position of power. In many ways, women are asked to follow pursuits that will not necessarily make us happy, but we rarely question that until we're well into whatever life script we think we've chosen, but really have just fallen into. So to be empowered, it requires we identify these social scripts and understand that what you've been told you need to do in your life in terms of what's going to make you happy versus what women do. Because we tend to make all sorts of life choices that don't make us happy. For a lot of us, it's being in relationships where we are not treated as an equal. This also doesn't make us happy, but we think we have to be in relationships, and so we tend to stay in relationships that don't make us happy.